So come on in, it's time for another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Mike Fenner. And I'm Ashley Kaiser. And high school football is officially back in District 10. We've got a great full season ahead and it all started tonight with a big rivalry in Region 7 at Veterans Memorial Stadium. That's right, Mike. Erie and Cathedral Prep going head to head tonight at the Vet. We'll start this one in the first quarter. Ramblers having the ball. Davin Freeman gets sacked by Alan Anderson as he goes down. Then this mistake from the Royals would lead to the Ramblers to get on the board first. With the safety, the Ramblers get two. With seconds left in the first, Davin here passes to Charbel Latouf on his left. Latouf carries the ball down the Royals sideline, diving in for the 13-yard touchdown. Prep takes an 8-0 lead in the first. Now the Ramblers holding the Royals at zero. Cameron Christman boots this field goal and adds three more to the board. Fast forward to the third. Marquand Darnell to Amari Farmer here. Farmer attempts to pass it forward towards the end zone, but Corey Allen comes charging in for the interception. Now Erie High would manage to get one back here. Tajay Thompson snags it on the bounce and weaves his way right through the defense. Heads back towards his own sideline and takes it all the way in for the touchdown. That'd make it 12 to 6 Royals getting on the board. Later on, Prep. KJ Williams in his QB. He fakes the handoff and is going to hold on to this one, driving it into the end zone for a 14-yard score. The Cathedral Prep Ramblers go on to secure, secure their first win of the season, taking down the Erie High Royals with a final score of 18-6. The thing you got to like is our fight. I mean, we fought the whole game. Erie did a heck of a job just playing the whole game and really coming at us. Uh, they gave us some good looks, and you know, they they made they were a handful, and they they, they gave us everything we can handle tonight. Uh, the things that we got to work on, obviously, we had a lot of, some mental mistakes. Uh, it's going to happen. We had a lot of new starters, but uh, in the end, I think we you know our kids grew up a little bit tonight, and hopefully, we can continue to grow from that. Yeah, that, it felt great. You know, we're a quarterback in there throwing good pass, and our uh, receivers blocking on that lineman doing great all game. Um, just everyone working together, it's easy to get done. It feels great, that momentum going into week two now. We have people that stepped up, made the right plays. K.J. Williams, I can't speak enough about him. He waited for his opportunity, got it, and took the moment. Don Panaghetti is another one. He's waited for this, and he balled out tonight. On the Apply Their Entry System scoreboard in Region 7 High School Football, once again, this one goes to the Ramblers by an 18-6 final. On the Apply Their Entry System scoreboard elsewhere in Pittsburgh, McDowell on the road facing Woodland Hills. This was a late start, 9 p.m. This one's still going at last check, 21-20. Woodland Hills in the third quarter leading against the Trojans. Now across town at Saxon Stadium, Mercyhurst Prep home for Sharon. A battle of D10 runners up from last year. 7-0 Tigers start this off. Lampkins hands it off, faking the carry, while A. Navion Brown sneaks past the Lakers defense, hustles down to about the 20. That leads to this next one here. Lampkins again with the handoff this time. White slides through the gap, takes it 22 yards to the end zone for the touchdown. It's 13-0. Tigers on top. Lakers cheerleaders keeping the spirit up high here. As the Tigers have the ball here, Lampkin finds a wide open Bishop Root. He has nothing but room to take the big skin in for a 46, yes, 46-yard touchdown. Mercier's prep falls to Sharon with a final score of 55-6. Let's head out to Waterford Carm Benito Field for the action with Fort LaBeouf taking on Meadville. Pick this thing up in the third quarter. Back and forth ball game. And it was Xavier Blos with the handoff here first for LaBeouf as they're trying to put together a drive. And then more from LaBeouf. Damian Blos running the football up the gut. Bison into Bulldog territory across the 50, but the drive would stall. Let's pick it up for the Bulldogs now. Jordan Lawrence taking off. Puts on the Jets. Here he goes. They won't catch him. Meadville takes the lead on this long touchdown run, 27-21. And then more for the visitors. Meadville starting to try to pull away in this one here in the second half. Mike Filippa, A.J. Filippa, pardon me, sending this downfield to Jacoby Thompson. And what a catch. Puts the Bulldogs in business again inside the red zone. That would lead to this. More for the Dogs. And it's Lawrence. Getting his hands on the football again, pushes through, makes it 34 to 21 as he scores that Meadville touchdown. LaBeouf trying to hang in tough towards the end. It's Damian Blos running it down the field for a Fort LaBeouf touchdown. They would get it to within one score, but in the end, it's Meadville winning this one on the road. 41-27. Hi, Mike. 
Let's go to Corey. Sheen Field. Beavers hosting Titusville tonight in the first. Let's get to it. It's Nolan Carey finding Mason Savitz. And he will take this one up the right sideline. Gets knocked down out of bounds. First down pickup. More for the guys in orange and black. It's Carey throwing a bomb to Blake Cook. And this one finds the land of six. First touchdown of the evening. Corey on the board. And now on the other end for Titusville, Ian McDonald running this one up the middle, then cuts outside. And nice yardage here gets blasted at the end of the play on the sideline, but a first down there. Moore, McDonald pushing closer to scoring range here. Short yardage pickup and getting some extra yardage on the way. Now for the Rockets, Jackson Covell, part of a nearly 100-yard night on the ground, races in for the Rocket touchdown, but it's Corey beating Titusville 28-22 to open the season with a win. And still to come on Friday Night Lights, plenty more high school football around Erie County. That includes some head coaching debuts around the area. Plus we'll hear from our third member of our team, Cameron Knapp. Stay with us here on Friday Night Lights. 